Welcome to Japan. Welcome to Japan indeed. Hey guys, Dan here. Uh, welcome to my That Pedal Show Goes to Tokyo vlog. Here's the deal. Uh, Mick and I are in Japan with Rubia Massad and Ola England. We've been invited by Boss to come out and see their facility, see how they do the things they do. Uh, so we're going to catch a bullet train and head out to Hamamatsu that happens to go past Mount Fuji, which is really cool. Um, and we're going to go and meet and hang out with this guy. This is Yoshi Ikigami, the president of Boss. So we get to hang out with him for a few days. Yeah, I don't so, know how well I'm going to do in here. Yeah. Oh, no. Thank you out now. Oh, wow. <laughs> So this is the Roland Museum where they have every product that Boss have ever made and that's a massive number. And check out this view. So this is Lake Hamamatsu. While I'm in Japan, I want to find this. Uh, this is a DSD2. It's basically a Boss DD3 digital delay but with a built-in sample hold feature. So we're off to explore Tokyo. It's legendary guitar shops. There's a, a Keely Mod DD3 here. As well, we've got the SD2 Dual Overdrive. It's the first one I've actually ever seen in the flesh. So. I'm going to see, uh, I want to make sure this is a Japanese made one, so can we have a look at this one? Yeah, that's a modern one. Oh. So that's a Ta that's made in Taiwan, so that would be a recent one. Ah, uh, okay. So oh. what's the difference between this DD3 yeah. and the Japanese DD3? The chip size. The ch so I don't really want a Japanese one, don't Yeah, I? so the Japanese one has the big chip in it, these ones have obviously the more modern. Okay. Sound-wise, almost identical, but obviously the Japanese one has the, the, the original chip. And I want the original chip. Okay. We've still right. got many we'll places keep looking, to go. We'll keep looking. Okay. Um, but I will get this one though. Look at that. Is that oh, an eight oh. string? <laughs> I think those are Ragnarok barnacles as well. It looks photoshopped. It does. <laughs> it does. I wonder if it gents. It's my buddy. Okay, Ishibashi. And these are all music stores here. It looks amazing. Which one? It's into the fender floor. You've got SRV on the telly. And over there is my guitar. Two of my guitars. Is the mix have a signature model? Oh, it's playing with Albert King. Listen, listen to Albert. Oh, tone. There's something about oh, look the way he bends bending down. down. Yeah. Does he play upside down? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. 
There's something in that. You know, Toro Brown was the same. There's yeah, something yeah. in that. Five minutes gold. Sixty-six style head stop. Wow. So it's my birthday today, and it's fair to say we had a big night last night. Uh, but I've been really excited about seeing this store. So we jumped on the train and we're here. As if you actually found it, that's amazing. Matt. Yes. Tell me why the DSD2 is so cool. Well, DD3, but you've got to trigger in. So if you've got a drum machine or something, you can loop or trigger short recording times from a drum machine as well. well if I just put a little um, monitoring. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, please. Basically, Mike Einzinger used one in Incubus Sciences. The song Glass is just the gonculator. Really? And it's just such a distinct 
ring mod sound. Uh, I'm just doing a calculation. <laughs> I, I've discovered it's better not to calculate. <laughs> Go with it. Where did I get that? Eric Johnson first face. Oh wow. That's about 100 quid. Yeah man. <laughs> This is Jensen Hi-Fi speakers. Let's sit on the couch and have a listen. It's incredible. What have I got to do to make you love Are me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> this unbelievable hi-fi. Like, crazy good speakers and mono blocks and preamps and power amps. And it's just, it's totally dawned, it dawns on you that with um, MP3 streaming and Bluetooth, you lose about 75% of the sound. That sounds incredible. Absolutely, it's unbelievable. Score number one. Dual overdrive. Unexpected score number two is this the BF1 Boss Flanger. My biggest score, and I was so excited about this the DSD2 digital sampler delay. So yeah, made in Japan. Uh, it is the same delay as the DD3. The big thing for me with the DD3 is that compounder circuit. There we go, that's my little vintage and uh, rare boss score. I'm delighted. Oh, the other score I made, a gimbal, forever to be known as Frank Gimbale. Had the best time in Japan. Brilliant. See you guys later.